Look, I didn't take the money. It might look as though I did, but I'm not a thief. I'd like to think you're telling the truth. I really would. It wasn't me. What more can I say? That was great. Yeah, I totally believed you. You really found the character. Yeah, I mean, you're either a very good actor or a very good liar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, like I say, we're, we're filming in Shepparton, so this scene should just take a day. That's fine. I can always move things around. For... Good. Well, we'll be in touch. Unless you've got any questions. Yeah, I was wondering, um, so is that his first name or, or his surname? You know, Driver. Because that's quite unusual. That's his job. Yeah, he, he doesn't really need a name. Good. Great. <clears throat> that's what I meant. Now, if, if he did have one, what would that be? It's... Blown it. No, it's just that I put the director on the spot and asked him one or two questions he hadn't thought of, but he's obviously big enough to handle it, so uh, no, I think we'll work well together. <laughs> You're going to be in a film with Rita Stetler. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Wait till I tell my mum. Yeah. Three Days in Paris is one of her all time favourite films. Yeah, well, mine too. But it is now. In fact, I must make a point of watching that. You and Rita Stetler. My day doesn't seem so glamorous now. Oh, come on, don't put yourself down. You do some good stuff. But another series of geriatric ward. Oh, God, that's not coming back, is it? Surely they've all died by now. Don't. It's truer than you think. They're trying to find a new lot. No, so they don't swear so much. Remember that Scottish one? It was like she was talking in Morse code. Right, I'm off. I've left a note for the electrician. What? When he comes to do the extra sockets. Oh, yes. Do we really need all these extra sockets? Just throw out some of the gadgets. We don't need yoghurt makers and waffle irons. Well, you shouldn't keep buying them, then. He won't get in your way. He'll be working in here. No, oh, he'll still be in the house, though, won't he? Whistling and using the toilet and God knows what. Who is he, anyway? How do we know he's any good? Michael recommended Michael? Him. Yeah, well, you know how fussy Michael <sighs> is. If he says he's good, I'm sure he will be. No, he won't. He'll be some weirdo he's met on the internet playing Warhammer. How much is he charging? It doesn't matter. You're a film star. <laughs> what do you mean, you've heard of her? Rita Stetler is one of the biggest movie stars of all time. OK, so she was big in the 50s, but what's she done since then? Three Days in Paris is in most people's top 20 films. It's one movie. She's made hundreds of movies. Name one other. <sighs> oh, dear. I think we know what this is about. You're jealous. You're me. Jealous. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. You are jealous. I'm not jealous. You're jealous. You're jealous. 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 I'm not jealous. jealous. Okay, now you're being jealous. jealous. Sorry jealous. to jealous. disturb your work. Yeah, I was just explaining something to Marty. Electrician is here. Fine. I'll be through in a couple of minutes when I've finished explaining what I was explaining. Jealous. Thanks, love. Now then, where do you want these sockets? Basically, we need a double one over there so that we can use some oh. sort of... <sighs> oh, I better just get this. Hello? <laughs> yeah. I just got here. Yeah. A bit shorter, actually. I know. No, go on. Oh, definitely, no question. Oh! Miles offside. No, he didn't even look at the linesman. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I better go. See ya. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, where were we? Yep, so we need a double Did you see one it last night? What? The match. 
I mean, that had to be a red card, didn't it? It was a two-footed tackle. I didn't see it. No? Well, they're bound to show it again. I mean, he's lucky he didn't break his leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not interested. Yeah? Who do you support, I then? I don't support anyone. Uh, you're not Arsenal, are you? Uh. <laughs> no, I don't support anyone. I have no interest in football. All oh, right. Well, it's your, uh, your rugby man, then. I no, I don't feel like that either. I just don't like sport. You should have seen that tackle, though. Got to be a red. Good. We need a double one over there, so we can plug in a... Right. Things. Well, I'm just going to have to turn off the electric for a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Just in case you've got any computers in the house. Yeah, it's a laptop, so it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, right. Mm. OK. Well, I'll crack on, then. <laughs> Is there any more of that tea, love? Please, I'm not love. I'm Megda. So what's that, then? Spanish, is she? No, I'm not Mind Spanish. Mind you, they've got some good teams, haven't they? Uh, Real Madrid. I'm not Barcelona, Spanish. Barcelona, Valencia. They're quite good these days. Que pasa? She's not Spanish. Come on, Rick. No, no. We need to know. Oh, dear. My mistake. Only 980,521 results for Rita Stettler. Leading American actress, da -da 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 -da. close friends with Bing Crosby. Films include We Dance Till Dawn, A Long Way to Rip. A Long Way to Rio. That's what I meant, A Long Way to Rio. And the classic romance, Three Days in Paris, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award. OK, OK, she's legend. You've got a walk-on partner movie, I'm sorry. I was being ungracious. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Apology accepted. I'm glad we can have these little chats. What do, you, what do you mean, walk-on? The walk-on part in the movie. It's not a walk-on part. I thought you said it was only one day shooting. It's a cameo. It's a big difference. OK, it's a cameo. Yet again, I'm in the wrong. It's a very important scene. It's right at the start of the film. My character gets accused of stealing money from Rita Stettler. Yeah. So did he do it? Good question. I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Don't want to spoil the film. Well, let's hope you don't. So what's your character's name? Dave. Dave who? Dave Driver. What is it, a porno or something? Yes, that's right. I'm a porn star and I'm in a sex scene with a 78-year-old woman, but the money's great, so... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I've uh, just got to switch the power off for a bit, just in case yeah, you... You don't have to keep telling me. I've got a laptop. Yeah, just thought I'd let you know. All right. How you doing? Yeah. Did you see the game last night? Unbelievable. That was so offside. That's what I said. Didn't I say that? Who do you support, then? You're not Arsenal, are you? I get out of here. No, I'm a Spurs man. What about yourself? United? Manchester United. Is that where you're from? Oh, yes. Those aren't United colours you're wearing. Yeah, well spotted. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for the wait. <sighs> Problem with the hummus. Oh, we didn't order hummus. No, 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 but there was a problem with the hummus and it had to be attended to, hence the delay in preparing your sandwiches. OK. Glad we cleared that up. Yes. One of my suppliers has had a family bereavement and the upshot is no hummus until tomorrow morning at the very earliest. Yeah, I suppose we'll all have to muddle through somehow. I mean, you think with something as simple as hummus... Michael, did uh, Rick tell you he's in a movie? A movie? Yeah, they're going to cast me in a film. It's a bit embarrassing, really, but... Uh... It's a cameo. Uh, more of a special guest appearance. It should be an interesting challenge. Oh, who else is in it? Anyone I'd know? Yeah. Rita Stettler. She's a big name from the 50s, Hollywood. Friend of Bing Crosby. You're and... in a film with Rita Stettler? Yeah. My father is her number one fan. You're kidding me. Oh, I was brought up on Rita Stettler. I remember when the Roxy was open, they used to show old 50s films on Sundays. Father insisted on taking us. God help us if we made a noise. Sounds fun. Yes. Only my brother Christopher would pinch me and try and make me yell out. Then one time he brought along a pen knife and stuck it in my leg. Well, you can imagine. Painful. Uh, I'm afraid I screamed and understandably father lashed out. Oh, well. Happy times. Anyway. Um. I don't suppose that you could get her to sign something for Father, could you? Yeah, I suppose so. And he's got quite a collection of memorabilia. I'll get her autograph. Which is very easy going like that. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Father will be thrilled. <laughs> right. Oh, I'd better go and see if I can source some hummus from somewhere else. <laughs> Rita Sperry's going with things like that. Jealous. Jealous. 
Hi, Magda. Let me show you. Everything all right? No, listen to him. This is the keeper. Cannot stand this with this all person. morning. Right, I've had enough of this, I'm going to sort it out. Now the referee is where you are, maybe a couple of feet back from that. Now he's gone in on him, like this, two-footed from behind. That is a red card. Sorry, how's it going? Not bad. I've almost finished the prep. I was just going to pop out for a spot of lunch and then crack on. <laughs> See you in a bit. Yeah, don't be too long. Do you mind not talking to him? He's supposed to be working. help it, Dad. He kept going on and on about football and that. I mean, we tried to live. <sighs> yeah, and Ben's got, like, some coursework to do, working with kids and stuff. Yeah, they're disadvantaged and that, so, you know, just trying to, uh, trying to motivate them and, you know, be a role model. You're going to be a role model? Yeah. Oh, uh, well done on the film, Dad. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so is, uh, is that going to be in, like, the cinemas? Well, it's a film, Ben. That's where films are shown. Yeah, of course, yeah. Some films do go straight to DVD. Yeah, well, not this one. It's got Rita Stetler in it. She's a really famous actress. OK. Huge star in the 1950s. Great. Well, uh, may maybe old people will like it. Yeah. Good luck with the motivational thing. That's me for today, then. Right. Is it all done? I'm going to need another day on it. I've left everything up and running for you, so you've got your TV, your lights. No, that's good of you. Have you got Sky, have you? Sorry? Have you got Sky? No. Because they're showing the highlights at 10.30. Well, yeah, if you remember, I don't really watch football, so that's OK. No. I expect your mate will be watching, though. Yes, I dare say. So, what time tomorrow? Oh, I'll make an early start, I think. It's 10, all right. 10? See you tomorrow. All day he's asking me, have you seen goal? Yes. Offside, what is ref doing? Oh, yeah. Why have you not sent off red card to him? All day he's eating. And then my biscuit love. Yeah, typical. Oh, what a lazy Englishman. Well, you get people like that in any country, Magda. It's not just an English thing. It might be a bit racist. No, I think it's English. In my country, this job must be done. Men will come one hour. Finish. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes, but over here we have regulations. Rewiring has to be done properly. You can't just fix it up with a coat hanger and say you've done it. Now, you are being racist. Racist? No, I'm not. Yes, if you say we fix electric with coat hanger. Not really, because that's actually something you told me when you first arrived here. You told me your uncle was electrocuted. Ah, uh, yes was coming out of toilet at swimming pool. Yeah, you see. But was not coat hanger, was wire from bicycle. Still, it's not ideal though, is it? He's coming out of shower. No, I know, I don't want to hear it again. And he's touching light switch and swimming pants have... Yeah, I remember. And then his wife... Yeah, that's right, had to, couldn't was visit him in that hospital. Take him to hospital. Right. They had to sell their lorry, didn't they? never come closer to walking out of a meeting. Yeah, but it's geriatric ward. That's what makes it popular. Now they're pushing it too far. The producer openly asked the medical advisor if there was anyone who might only make it to about show four. You don't know what happened to the ratings when that wheezy one died. Gladys. Yeah. Yeah, but it was really sensitively handled. And it was completely unexpected. It was geriatric ward. It can't have been that unexpected. Just wasn't as cynical, somehow. Anyway, how did you get on with Helen? Who? The electrician. Oh, don't ask. So lazy. He's done nothing. What is it with the English? He's made a start, hasn't he? He's put a dust sheet down. How long does it take to put a couple of sockets in? It should be one hour, thank you, finished, goodbye. Tell him to get on with it, then. Every time I go near him, he starts droning on about football, and he's rude to Magda, I told you what would happen if you get someone recommended by Michael. Well, take it up with Michael. I was going to, but he was in the middle of a hummus crisis. <sighs> oh, Michael's father is Rita Stetler's number one fan. Really? <laughs> Obsessed with her, apparently. Michael's father obsessive? Who'd yeah. have thought? I <laughs> know. He's got memorabilia and everything. You know, I said I'd get her autograph for him. Oh, that was sweet of you. No, why not? It's no trouble. <laughs> dark 
work here I'm seeing things with clarity and foresight I'm worried that my dreams might not be my destiny It's all around me In my blood and in my body like a whirl of mist I have to bite and clench my fist Else I'm likely to explode I've been like this before I've been like this before It won't happen again It takes time growing up But patience is all that you need You're really gonna do this? Yeah, why not? Because you said you'd get her to sign it. Oh, come on, Marty. Do you really think I'm going to ask Rita Stetler for her autograph? Why not? Because you don't ask your co-star for an autograph. She'd look at me and think, who is this guy? He's just not done. Well, she'd be flattered, especially with the old poster. She'd she think I'm a fan, some kind of stalker. Do you think she's going to ask me for my autograph? I'm guessing no. Exactly. So me signing it for her is the proper thing to do. I hope Michael's dad sees it that way. <sighs> He'll never know. Look. This is her version of her signature. That's mine. You can't tell the difference. No, I still think you should ask Rita. Why complicate things? Watch. Yeah, the poster's worth 800 bucks. It's not worth that much. It is. I looked it up online. The French ones are collector's items. They all had a mistake on them. Well, it'll be worth even more when it's signed, won't it? Sorry, I'm just... Uh, just a minute. I was just going to say I'm going to have to switch the power off. Yeah, how much long are you going to be? Not long, just a few safety checks, then I'll be off. Signing autographs, then, are you? Yes. I bet you get asked quite a lot, don't you? <laughs> yeah, quite a lot. Something you get used to. Did you see the highlights last night? They all said it was offside, every last one of them. Well, apart from Alan Hansen being away. See, Magda? It's working. He's done a good job. Yes, but three days has taken him. In my country, we can build block of flat in three days? Yeah, they're not very nice ones. And they have you know to fall down when it snows. Hi, Sam. You all right? Hi, Sam. Ben. Right. How's the thing with the kids going? Yeah, it's uh, not good. Really? What's the problem? They're just lazy. You know? Yeah, taking the piss with you. Yeah, there's no, uh, no get up and go. <sighs> You're working with bad children? Well, they're not bad, Magda. They're disadvantaged. No, most of them are bad as it goes. I think one way to teach these people is for police to come and... Hmm? Well, that's a thought. The police aren't really like that over here. Sometimes they are. having the house back to ourselves. Oh, your mobile rang. Did it? Mm. Alan did a good job. Three days that took him. Ah, you thorough. That's why Michael uses them all the time. It should probably be him now. Don't use the sockets, they're dangerous. Did you watch the match last night? I what? What? What is it? Rita Stetler's had a stroke. Oh, no. How is she? She's in hospital in L.A. She's on her way to the airport. Poor thing. I know. I'll probably cancel the movie now. I meant poor Rita. Yeah, well, obviously, that's the main thing. 
Oh, no. What? Michael's dad. He gave me a poster to get signed. I'll just give it back. He'll understand. It's not that simple. You haven't lost it? No, of course not. Or damaged it? No. Thing is, it turns out it has actually been signed. How? Well, it sort of has. I mean, it is her signature. But I did it. You did it? I thought it would be easier that way. Easier than what? Why are you doing this now? Why don't you wait until she recovers? She's not going to recover. Well, how ill is she? I told you, completely ill. Forget it, Anna. She's had a stroke. She's buggered. Thank you, Doctor. You've been very kind. What are you going to say? I'm just going to tell you the truth. Ah, I've heard the news. Father rang. It's very sad, isn't it? Poor Rita. Mm. Thing is, about the poster. Oh, don't worry about that. I completely understand. There's no way you could have got it to sign. Uh, I should explain. No, no, there's no need to explain. Well, there is sort of. I'll just give it back to him. Yeah, before you do that, there's something you should know. See, the thing is, when I heard that Rita was unwell, my immediate thought was, poor old Michael's father, now he's not going to get her autograph. So I thought, I know. I'll sign it, and then he won't be disappointed. Sorry, I don't understand. What are you saying? Uh, nothing, really. It's just that once I've done it... You're saying you sign my father's poster? Yeah. Not my name, obviously. <laughs> Rita's. Anyway, it was only when Mel saw it, it started me thinking. Because she said, I know you've done that with the best intentions. What have you done? And it is very, very realistic. But do you think that was a good idea, signing? I think you better sound, Michael. You don't look too good. And I said, what? Are you saying it would have been better if I'd maybe left it unsigned? So anyway, you, you'll definitely get away with it. No, he'll know that you did it. I really don't think so. It is very accurate. He always knows when you're lying. He was a barrister. Michael, it looks exactly the same. She never left America. There's no way she could have signed it's it. It's fine. All you have to say is I flew to LA. Oh, oh. Nosebleed. Pass me tissue. Yeah, use this. Oh, I'll be right in a minute. Why, why did it start bleeding like that? It's a trauma response. I used to get them a lot as a child. I see you got hummus back on the menu. So proud of him. At last, one of my clients has had the guts to say no to something. It's just not going to do it? No. He said it was exploiting old people and it was beneath him. Beneath him? Didn't he do sewage search? So what's going to happen to geriatric ward? They're just going to pull the plug on it? No. It'd be quite ironic, wouldn't it? They're going to get a new presenter. He said that is quite funny. I'll make a note of that. That would be another one of my clients. They should do a celebrity geriatric ward. Maybe I'll get Rita on it for you. <laughs> Sorry. A bit sick. So how'd it go with Michael, the poster? Yeah. All right. He was fairly calm. I told him to say that I flew to LA for the day and got her autograph. Do you think his father will believe that? Oh, yeah. It happens all the time when you're in the film business. It's just that Michael doesn't strike me as a very good liar. <laughs> No, don't do that. Just once. Ah, hello again. Hello. Come in. <clears throat> Just come from Michael's cafe, have you? Yes. We keep there most days. Can't say I care for the food there. No. Of course, he had a very good job in the city. He couldn't handle the pressure. But it wasn't so much the pressure. Do you know Christopher? No. His brother. Oh. Very successful. Lives in South Africa. Did very well out of apartheid. Oh. <laughs> Stuck with it, you see. Anyway, Michael tells me you managed to get my poster signed. Yes. Quite strange, really. Just after you gave it to me, I got called out to a meeting in LA with Rita. So I took it with me, uh, which, as it turns out, was just as well. Because, uh, well, the very next day, you know, poor Rita. So you flew out to meet her? And where was this meeting? In Los Angeles. 
I know you said that. Where in Los Angeles? Uh, it was at her house. And what address would that be? What's the matter? Have another one of your nosebleeds. No, I'll be fine, thanks. So, the address of the house where this meeting took place. North Crescent Drive. Nice house. Don't remember the number. Her uh, chauffeur drove me there. Very good. <laughs> Just a little quiz. Uh, <laughs> I love my Rita trivia. Yeah. Well, come on, come on, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Hang on a second. Uh, got something here that should uh... reach his autograph from 1948. <sighs> Remarkable. Look at that. Hasn't changed in 60 years. Rick, thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Any time. Well, I think this calls for a drink, don't you? <laughs> that was amazing. How on earth did you know where she lived? Always do your homework. I totally believed you. But I've been told I am a very good actor. I hope you like Sherry. Oh, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Your health. And to Rita, uh, a speedy recovery. Sorry, I'm just going to have to switch the power off for a bit. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. You know Alan, do you? What's that doing here? No, I was around at his house when he signed that. Yeah, looks, looks more like Rita, the way you've written it. in the park. 